okay hi virgos welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels let's see what the energy is like here today now this is a general message so just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay but it goes at the moment my private readings are closed they will open on the 2nd of january um but i do still appreciate the donations and things like that i also want to thank anybody who has purchased a private reading um, or any kind of service from me this year it's been very much appreciated so i do hope that everybody is well okay now let's get a card from archangel michael and let's see what he may be helping some of my virgos with at this time what is the energy here for my virgo sun moon rising north node and venus thank you spirit what is the energy thank you archangel michael what do you have for Virgo? Thank you. Well, I'm going to date. We do have new beginnings and a fresh start. So it looks like Archangel Michael here will, is helping you to move away from the past and kind of step in to that energy of newness. Yeah, but he does need you to believe and trust here. Okay. And look at that. Let go of fear now. So the card that we have coming out, it says your children are watched over by angels. It says, dear guardian angel of my children, it says, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring that their happiness and safety. It says, please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and for other people's children. OK, so strong energy coming out here about children. OK, now I don't feel like everybody is necessarily going to have children so let's get another one but thank you archangel michael any other messages from my virgos thank you so we have make a commitment it says archangel michael as the angel of courage and confidence i call upon you to lead me it says i call upon you to lead me your strength it says, allow me to commit to myself, my life and my divine purpose. It says, please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. OK, so it makes me feel like some of it feels like you're getting ready to kind of almost buckle down. Right. Um, yeah, I'm hearing um, foundation. So give me a card for my Virgos for now and for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm seeing forgiveness. Some of you, you know, it's that energy of releasing, letting go. Um, especially, I feel like, um, to situations that you know you don't have any control over. So, you know, people. But some of you are realizing, but you can take action in your own life, right? Yeah. All right. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. So the first one coming out, it says remain positive. This makes me feel like for some of you, there's something coming in for you. It's almost like this woman has a bunch of flowers, like a bouquet of flowers. And it's almost like an angel giving it to you. So for some of you, maybe something that you have really been wanting um you may be getting at this time but it feels like spirit is rewarding someone with something so remain positive but it could be you know spirit saying hey remain positive whatever this is is coming in it may not be here yet give me a card for going forward thank you well on the deck we do have be assertive oh romance and listen to your intuition. So for some of you, you need to listen to your intuition when it comes to love or a relationship. Going forward, we have if you believe. Mm. Why is remain positive here for Virgo? Yeah, I just saw life experience. So it's making me feel like, you know, some of our girls, maybe you've been through something really tough, whether it's in the past, whether it was very recently here. 
I'm hearing something about financial loss as well. Or financial hardship. What is remain positive? But you see, for some of you, you've been through something where it may have been like a life experience. And now spirit is kind of sitting back and seeing what it is that you're going to do about this. It's almost like this energy of, it's like they're showing me like, they're showing me a man, but it doesn't have to be a man. But it's almost like a man, you know, kind of, um. he looks kind of like, like he's on the floor, but his head is down. And, you know, it feels like sadness, disappointment. It's that kind of energy, but it's almost this vision where spirit is kind of waiting back and seeing, let's see if this man is going to lift his head up. What is he going to do? It's almost like after going through something difficult, you're now put in front, you're now um, put in a position where in front of you, you have a choice to make. Are you going to choose to stay in that energy or are you going to choose to kind of, like I said, pick yourself back up and move forward? Because it's almost like the, the journey doesn't stop here. They're showing me like road works, right? Like you may be used to going somewhere on a certain route all the time. And then one day you go down this route and the road is closed. What are you going to do? Are you going to get angry and say, well, damn, I'm just going to go back home? Or are you going to actually, you know, sit there and think about it? Well, you know, maybe there must be another route to get to where I was going, right? What is remain positive for Virgo? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. So you got the eight of earth. So this could have to do with your workspace here. You know, for some of you, let me see what this is. The seven of water. For some of you, when it comes to your work, businesses and projects, right, you may be very skilled at what you do, okay? But you may not be getting the results that you want, right? Or maybe you feel like you do overtime or you do whatever, right? Or you're better than whatever, but you don't get paid enough. There's, there's some sort of disappointment when it comes to a work situation. But you may be confused, right? You may be exploring um, other options. For some of you, you may be looking for a job right now in the field that you're skilled with, right? It says skilled work is rewarded. It says learning all there is to know about a topic. It says going back to school. And then you have the seven of cups. It says a complex decision. It says the need to do research. It says stop procrastinating. Show me more. Yeah, this is an energy of don't give up. This is about having courage and believing in yourself, the nine of wands. But the nine of wands always does show me that, you know, maybe a journey hasn't necessarily been a smooth one. What is the eight of earth? The seven of air. See, again, this energy, you may feel like you're being cheated in a situation or I'm hearing I'm hearing the word rigged. So I don't know if you feel like something is rigged or you just feel like it's unfair or an injustice. But it says plans that need revision. It says more going on than meets the eye. It says poor timing. So you may even have people that you work around um, or, or work in the same vicinity or something like that where you may feel like there's some sort of deception or something going on here. What is the seven of water? The five of Water. This is sadness. This is things not turning out the way you'd hoped. It says not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilt milk. And that is what I was just saying about that man that I was seeing, right? So it's not about crying over this situation. It's about fighting, showing strength and saying, Do you know what? How can I fix this? Because I know I'm good enough for something. And I'm seeing seven, seven here. So you could be seeing that synchronicities. The sevens are warnings. And I feel like this may be a warning for someone not to give up on something. Yeah, you've got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. You could do something, um, you know, maybe a little bit taboo or maybe you're very intuitive. Maybe this is just talking about listening to your intuition here and following that guidance, right? Your ancestors and your angels may be trying to give you some sort of answers um, via that way. What is the high priestess, the three of cups? Yeah, and the nine of pentacles. Well, look at that with the justice. This could just be about somebody needing to learn and have patience in a situation. If you believe, 
something is going to come through for you. It will. If you believe that something is going to get better, it will. But it feels like very heavy that someone here is very much doubting themselves. Give me one more for remain positive. And yeah, you got the page of pentacles almost coming out sideways. You see, it, the, the, any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage, right? But this could also be saying to me that it's just a delay here. This is, it says, good news about financial matters. It says, wanting to do something more challenging. It says, a new area of study. Some of my Virgos, you may be very tempted to, like I was saying, give up on something and start something else or just... The Page of Pentacles, with this Eight of Pentacles, this is Spirit saying to me, yes, number one, is about having patience, but this is about you building some sort of solid foundation for yourself. What is if you believe? No, first, clarify that Seven of Swords first. What is that energy about? Clarify that Seven of Swords. What are we getting stuck on? A Queen of Fire. Uh, strength card, Leo energy, the six of fire, the eight of swords and the three of swords. You see, if there is some blockages here for you, or if someone here is trying to make something very difficult here for you Virgos, right? It makes me feel like spirit saying that the way you're going to get through this, right, is with perseverance, is with having confidence in yourself here. Okay. Showing that inner strength here. Now, yeah, six of wands, there is definitely sucks here, success here for someone, okay? It's about coming out of your head with the eight of swords and the three of swords. It's about moving away from disappointment. It's about forgiving certain situations. You know, release any harsh judgments here. Hmm, yeah, nine of wands. You're going to persevere through any kind of blockages or stalemate energy. So what is this if you believe? For my Virgos, thank you, Spirit. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Some of my Virgos, you need to get some sort of rest or some sort of sleep. Um, but give me a clear message. If you believe, why is it here? Yeah, we have release coming out. It says the end of a phase or situation. It says spiritual transformation. It says time to move on. And we also look at this. We have renewal. It says review and evaluate. It says a favorable assessment of the facts. It says time to move in a new direction. And we have the King of Water coming out on the Eight of Pentacles. So you, it feels like two energies. So this could definitely talk about love, right? We do have Make a Commitment came out here with Archangel Michael. Someone here may be suppressing their feelings here. Or someone here is, not, yeah, it's almost like someone here is not opening up and expressing themselves. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you. It says, trustworthy and heartfelt advice. It says, charity work. What is this giving me? Did I just say this in the... Yeah, because I just did a love reading. But um, this is giving me an energy of someone here, male or female, right? But it's, it's giving me this energy of maybe someone here. Um, and I did say I, saw, I was seeing a man in his emotions, right? Um, this is giving me the feeling of someone here may have been hurt here in the past but it's almost like someone may really desire to go into a relationship or have love in their life or a person in their life but it's almost like an energy of still holding on to what happened in the past here and this king of water is sitting under the card release right it says the end of a phase or situation it says spiritual transformation time to move on right so it's that energy of you have learned the lessons here and maybe whatever hurt you in the past was um you know something that needed to happen so it could kind of catapult you or put you through some sort of awakening so you see things differently 
but it, it may have been painful. But it's almost like, show me what renewal is. Yeah, the Ten of Air at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Again, kind of confirming that it's the end of something difficult here. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. It says recovering from an addiction. So, you know, this could have been something like an addiction um, for someone. Maybe someone was in a very toxic relationship where maybe they shared addictions with somebody. Look what came out. Whoever this is, don't be afraid to go forward um, when it comes to love, relationships. You've got the king and the queen of cups out here. Some of you are going to go forward to meet someone that is going to be on the same vibration as you, right? It says relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others. Now, I am also getting an energy here where someone here may want to move on to a new relationship, but maybe they are worried about, you know, the um, past relationship that they're coming out of. Maybe there was children involved in that situation because we do have your children are watched over by angels. OK, so Archangel Michael is saying to you, don't be afraid to move into something new because you have um, maybe children with somebody else. Hmm. could be very difficult for somebody to walk away from their children especially if you kind of been there from day one and you know you watch the child grow or you have a really good bond or connection with them so that would be like an energy for me almost like the two of swords right where you kind of at a stalemate here because maybe the person you ain't happy in the relationship but the bond with the children is it is it means almost everything and I feel like I'm speaking to someone because I, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. So I don't know. One more, if you believe. The four of air is wanting to turn over and it says time to rest or take a vacation. It says allow more time before making a decision. I said I was feel like I was seeing the two of swords, but this is the four of swords. But it says allow more time before making a decision. It says meditation may provide answers. Anything else from this deck? For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What are the messages from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, there's a, there's a need for more fun here. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups and Justice someone's going to go into a new relationship and it's almost like it's, it's almost an energy where it feels like it's going to relight your fire so anything for my vogels from this deck thank you spirit Another one. So you have blessings of innocence and purity. It says God blesses those whose hearts are pure for they will see God. You have bathe in divinity. It says his coming is as brilliant as the sunrise. I don't know, there may be something here about uh, a pregnancy or maybe someone just had a child or maybe someone here is going to go forward to have a child. You have helping others is helping yourself. It says for the whole law can be summoned up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, right? So I don't know, maybe someone here went through some sort of karma. Uh, and, and maybe that's what's making them see clearly now, right? Maybe someone's gone through some sort of a tower moment. So since I started with Archangel Michael, I will end with him. What do we have for my Virgos? What is the message here from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit.
I'm going to get another card. Yeah, somebody had to see something deeper here. But see, it's that energy of whatever it was. It was a blessing in disguise. And, and it's, it's kind of spirit is saying it's made you kind of open now. And I feel like to have something more stable here. So again, whether it's relationships or whether it's, this has to do with a business, it says your career is growing and blossoming. It says now is the time to make the changes you have you have been contemplating. Mm, are you coming out? <laughs> All right, okay, Jim Michael. So the first one, it says, it's a number 33, which boils down to a six. It says, this is a blessing in disguise. It says, be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. It says, what will come is far better than you dared to dream. But then you also have your va your vibration is rising, number 43, okay. Um, it's also giving me an energy here. Someone here was resisting something, resisting change. Resisting letting something or someone go. But it's almost like going forward. Spirit is going to show you why you needed to. You have. This is a time of great spiritual growth. It says for you. It says you are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. And then we have Archangel Michael. It says stay the course. It says don't panic. It says you're not on the wrong path. It says you're just having a bumpy start. It says learn from your experiences and keep going. Do you know what I'm hearing? As it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. I don't know. That's what I heard. So Virgos, that is what I've picked up here today. A message from your ancestors and angels. I do hope that something resonated with you. If it did, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys. Stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.